So let's take a tour around your new Google AdWords account, and I'm going to show you a lot of different features and just where to go to get to different things that you'll need to get to and uh, things that you don't know exist probably at this point. So bear with me, and we're just going to go step by step and look at pretty much everything that Google has to offer from this view. So this right here, this is a campaigns tab, and this is what you'll see when you first log into your account until you create your first campaign, which we're going to take care of in a later lecture. And uh, once you create your campaign, you'll see a different interface here with a list of campaigns, ad groups, and lots of other fun stuff, which we will tour at that point. So let's take a look at the home tab now. This home tab is basically a dashboard for your account. You can see they give lots of different information about your account, performance. Obviously, there's no performance yet in this account, but if there were, it would list different keywords and uh, good quality keywords and ad groups and uh, different things like that here. Personally, I don't have a lot of use for this tab. I prefer to just dive into the campaigns tab and look at the data in there. But uh, if you find this page helpful for you, then use it as best you can. So we looked at the campaigns tab already and this is where you'll spend the majority of your time when you're managing your AdWords account. Then let's take a look at the opportunities tab. This tab will also not have any opportunities right now because we have not started running any campaigns but once you start running campaigns Google will give you some automated recommendations here. So for example, it might recommend that you raise your budget in a specific campaign or that you add these keywords which it thinks is relevant or that you add ad extensions. Uh, it can be a really a helpful tool to find things that you may have missed when setting up the account or just get some automated recommendations. Definitely take everything with a grain of salt because it's all automated and Google does not know your strategy in the way that you know. Uh, let's take a look at the reports tab. This is uh, really a very robust reporting uh, area and uh, there are lots of, of different ways to view data in the campaigns tab. Once you create a campaign you can see most of your performance data there as far as number of impressions, number of clicks, click-through rate, uh, lots of different fun metrics. This reports tool is really for more advanced reporting and uh, let's go ahead and select just a, a basic predefined report here so I can give you an example. You can see here on the left you have lots of different metrics and it's a drag and drop system so you drag and drop different metrics or dimensions over here and then you can view data, you can make tables and graphs and do all sorts of great stuff using this tool. You'll probably only use this in some more advanced scenarios but it's good to be aware of. Next, we'll look at the Tools tab, and we've got several different options here. First, we have Change History, which is quite straightforward. It's a list of all the changes that you make to your account, along with the date and time that you made the change, and the email address of the user who made the change. So it's very helpful if you have multiple users working in the same account. You can uh, see what other people are doing. Um, also, it's just a great way to remind yourself of what you have been doing, and if you see a change in performance, you will want to check the change history and see if you think that change is due to an optimization or tweak that you made to the campaign. One interesting note, kind of a side note here, um, if you ever work with Google directly and Google makes any changes on your behalf, the, those changes that, that they make will not show up in this report. It probably won't apply to you, but it's just something interesting to be aware of. Next, let's look under Tools at the Conversions tab. And this is a very important tab, especially during setup. And I will uh, show you exactly how to set up all the conversions you'll need and what that looks like. But you can see here, uh, this is just the default setting, and we can create new conversions from here. This is where you go to create your conversions and also make sure that your conversions are working and see how many of each specific conversion type you're getting. Next, let's look at the Attribution tab under the Tools menu. This is another one of the reports that I don't use very frequently, and that's mostly because I rely on Google Analytics to give me a lot of this same data and, and a more easy-to-use fashion. But uh, this report tells you some inf interesting information about where in the, the conversion funnel somebody was when they interacted with your ad 
or um, so for example, uh, maybe someone saw your ad on one day, clicked on it, visited your website, and then came back another day, did another search, clicked on your ad again, went to your website, and made a conversion. You can see information about you know, how many people did that, what the time lag is for people to make a conversion, and uh, etc. This right here is a link to Google Analytics, which we have not set up yet, but I will show you how to do that in the near future. This here is a link to the Google Merchant Center, and that is only relevant if you are an e-commerce website and you're going to use Google Shopping to sell products, and I'll talk more about the Google Merchant Center and how to set that up later. Uh, Keyword Planner. Let me open that up in, in, uh, in a tab here. The Keyword Planner is something you probably will want to use. It's how you can do research to find keywords to target for your campaigns and uh, get estimated bids, estimated search volume, etc. And I'll show you how to use this tool to the best advantage later. Display Planner is pretty much the same exact thing, except it's for Google Display campaigns. So it can tell you what, uh, what specific websites to pick to show your ads on and different things like that. And then down here, Ad Preview and Diagnosis. We'll have a separate section about this. This is where you'll go to see if your ads are displaying, and uh, if not, why not? and also just get a sense of how they look on the search results page and how they compare with competitors ads. This right here is an incredibly useful tool and you'll want to use this instead of looking for your ads live because that will mess with your impressions data and uh, there are other reasons you don't want to do that as well which I'll cover later on. So that's all the tools options. Let's take a look over here at the gear icon. If you want to get to billing, which you'll need to do in order to start running ads, go there and we'll, uh, uh, this is where you'd go to uh, enter your credit card information and manage that. Over here under the gear we have account settings and there will be four options under account settings over here on the left sidebar once that loads here. All right, so preferences, just some very basic information about what you want your display language to be, what number format to use, your time zone. Like I said, it's crucial that you pick the right time zone starting out because you cannot change that later. Uh, you can also turn on auto-tagging here. We'll talk about this more when we work on setting up Google Analytics, and uh, at that point, we'll enable this automatically, so don't worry about this right now. And if you ever need to cancel your AdWords account, you can do that right here, but obviously we do not want to do that right now. Let's go up to the notification settings. This is where you can change what email notifications you receive from Google. I recommend just leave all these as default. These are the settings you'll probably want, but if you want to change something, you can just click on there and, and change whatever the options that Google offers and take care of that. Right up here we have linked accounts. You can see there are five options here, and this is where you can link your Google AdWords account to other Google accounts, and we'll talk more about all these in detail later. And then we have account access, and this is where you manage uh, what users actually can manage your account, can view their data, and what they can do. If you have uh, a relationship with an agency, so for example, um, when we reach out to clients to, uh, to connect to their AdWords accounts and, and start managing accounts for them at the agency that I work for, you would see an invitation from an agency down here. It would be called a, a client manager request, and you'd accept it on this page here. Or you could send uh, an invitation to another individual user, uh, for example, a colleague or employee, and uh, you can take care of that from right here. So that, uh, as you can see under the gear icon, we just talked about linked accounts right there. Send feedback is if you want to send feedback to Google, which you probably don't need. And then help is just a help option. Uh, lots of great information there. And down here is Google's phone number. And this, if you call that, will connect you to Google's call center of reps, and they can answer questions about some various things in your account. Um, you know, they're not going to be necessarily as as expert and motivated as um, a top-of-the-line agency, but uh, they are definitely going to be able to, to help out with some different questions and things.
And then over here, we've got the notifications tab. Nothing in here yet since we haven't started running, but uh, you want to keep an eye on this here. Um, it will give you some, some important information. So, for example, if you have an issue with your billing or uh, maybe there's an opportunity that Google wants to point out to you or maybe you have negative keywords conflicting with positive keywords, those are some of the examples of things that would show up in this notifications bar here. So really, that's, that's a tour of the entire account, and uh, once again, you'll spend most of your time over here on the Campaigns tab, and I'll take you on a tour of the, uh, the campaign user interface once we create our first campaign.